Okay, so all these guns have been cleared. I'm not going to do it on camera. You're just going to have to trust me. Uh, one of the things I've found frustrating about holster reviews is usually you look up a holster review on YouTube and uh, whoever's reviewing it has, you know, clearly got some relationship with the company um, or they're just giving a very uh, kind of fluffy review where they're like, oh, the fit and finish is really good and the retention is really nice. Um when, you know, when it comes to quality holsters, fit and finish and retention is kind of a given. Um, and that's not what, you know, me as someone who carries daily, uh, what I want to know is, you know, how well will this specific holster conceal on me and why? Um, one thing, you know, because appendix carry is super, you know, it's very individual. Um, what works for one person, you know, in a holster might not work for another uh, and, and there's a, a lot of great holster companies out there and it's almost kind of overwhelming. Um, and unfortunately a lot of, there's also a lot of shit holster companies out there that, you know, their, their advertising is everywhere, right? Like alien gear. Um, you can't get away from it and they have a million, you know, great reviews on Amazon, but those are shit holsters, frankly. Um, and, and, and a lot of people don't really, you're just not going to know better. So the purpose of this review is to show you some of the top brands and help you pick what might be right for you. So, uh, one thing you're also going to notice is, um, there's bright holsters here. So I'll just say right off the bat, I like bright stuff. You're going to see more, you, you, that's becoming more and more popular in the, in the world of serious, you know, appendix carriers. Um, you know, this is jokingly called pistol forum orange because on the pistol forum, you'll see so many people doing that. Uh, and the reason we do it is because it just makes it easier to kind of see what you're doing when you're reholstering. People say, why would you ever need a reholster in a gunfight? You, you probably wouldn't, but if you take training classes, which you should, you will have to reholster from appendix. Or if you shoot USPSA limited, you will have to reholster from appendix. And you can kind of see, I mean, it's just easier to see into a bright holster. So if you have like a shirt caught in there or something, uh, or anything that might get in the trigger guard, which, you know, usually won't happen on a quality holster, but things happen. And, you know, why not have that extra step? right? Like why not make it so visually you can make sure it's safe to holster into as well. Um, so that's why stuff is bright here. Um, and I'm going to just say disclaimer, not all the top brands are shown here. Um, I don't own any Henry holsters. Uh, they're really good from what I know. I don't own any keepers concealment holsters. Um, they're phenomenal. Uh, Gabe White uses them. If Gabe White's using it, uh, you can Rest assured, it's good to go. Um, if you're not sure who he is and what he's about, just look up Gabe White, USPSA. Um, but I've got some top brands here that I've, you know, used and experimented with, and I'm going to kind of give you some, you know, the differences of each and things you might want to know if you're buying a holster. Um, you'll also notice there are no hybrid holsters here. Um, hybrid holsters, especially for appendix carry, are just not good. Um, for a number of reasons, we're not going to get into that here. These are real quality Kydex holsters. Um, so first up, we've got the Dark Star Gear Orion. Um, I'm just going to say right off the bat, this is the best claw base holster I've ever used. Um, when I say claw based, I mean this, right? Um, holsters are made with different, you know, modes of concealment in mind. Um, claws have become more and more popular. And what a claw does is it really just kind of, you know, tucks the grip in, right? So if the gun is here and you, your, your belt goes through this, the claw acts to kind of pull the grip in towards your body, right? Um, and as far as claw-based holsters go, I mean, the Dark Star gear is, you know, hands down the best one I've used. Um, this is a mod wing claw, which I believe is better than the RCS claw. Uh, one thing you want to be aware of if you're going to order one of these is he just came out with something called the Dark Wing, which, uh, I mean, I'm super interested in trying that claw out because not only does it tuck the grip in towards your body, but it also tucks the the top of the gun in towards you so you don't need a foam wedge at the bottom uh which is kind of a big deal so look up the dark wing i don't even know if it's on the website yet but he's posted it on his facebook page this thing is super thin and comfortable um they're made to order but i generally get them in like one to two weeks um there are some discount codes online as well so look those up but uh you know, one thing to be aware of with Dark Star Gear is they, they tend to mostly support popular guns. So Glock, um, m &P, you know, SIG 320, I believe. Um, you're not going to find a lot of support for, you know, we call them snowflake guns, uncommon guns. So just be aware of that. But claw-based holsters, I mean, it's hard to beat the Dark Star Gear. And this is his mag pouch as well. It's called the Koala, um, and it's, it's awesome. So... That's Dark Star Gear. Next up, we've got JM Custom Kydex, and I have two JMs here. 
So I'll say JM Custom Kydex makes the best clawless holster that I've ever used. And what I mean by that is instead of a claw here, and he does actually have a claw-based model, you know, just to just be aware of, but this is his AIWB standard. Um, and you can kind of see there's, there's a grip wedge here, right? So what this does is this tucks the grip in as well. Um, you know, kind of like what a claw would do. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't tuck it as aggressively as a claw. Um, so for this holster, you know, you'll notice there's a lot of extra space here. This is a Glock 19. This is a Glock 34 length holster. This is a 17 length holster. Um, with these, what you're kind of relying on is extra length to kind of keep everything tucked in really close to you. Um, which actually, you know, FYI, a lot of people say, oh, that's crazy. Like, I want a shorter holster. Like, why would you want a long holster? How do you sit down? Um, Longer holsters actually conceal better in appendix and are more comfortable because instead of jabbing you like in, you know, in your pelvic area, this just kind of goes beyond it, which I know sounds crazy. Like how could a 34 or a 17 length holster be more comfortable than a 20 Glock 26 or 19 length holster, right? Um, they are trust that like you want longer. Um, other times, you know, with, with shorter holsters, um, you can kind of see here, you know, here's your belt. If it's too short, they can kind of roll out over your belt. But having extra length kind of acts as a lever and keeps everything really sturdy. Um, so definitely go with extra length. Um, Jam Custom Kydex, one thing that's right off the bat, if you have a snowflake gun, so something that's not as common, CZ, you know, for, for top, you know, appendix carry. So CZ, HK, um, the, le the less popular SIG, so like not the 320, the other ones, uh, Berettas, whatever, car. I don't know, something uncommon, you're probably going to have to go with JM Custom Kydex because they basically offer a mold for like every single gun. Um, and if it's not listed there and like the rare chance it's not listed, just email him and they might actually do it. It's just not on the website. Um, so if you have an uncommon gun, you're probably going to have to go with JM. The other nice thing about JM is that it's actually custom. So if you were to email Tony over there and say, hey, um, can I have like a custom length? Maybe you have a, a CZ compact and you want extra length added to it so it stabilizes it better. Just email him be like, hey, can I do this? He'll say, yeah, put it in the order comments and he'll do that. Like it's actually custom. Um, so he can do things like that, which is really cool about JM. Um, it's probably the most comfortable holster I've used. Um, not that this is not. I mean, the Dark Star gear is incredibly comfortable. I just find that not having a claw makes things a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, the other thing to be aware of with JM is that these take some time. So if you're not doing a, a quick ship holster, which are like, you know, 10 days listed on his website, if you're doing anything custom or it's an uncommon gun, uh, it will take four to six weeks. Like the lead time says that four to six, that's not an exaggeration. It will take the full four to six weeks. So like get the order in quick um, because it's going to take you some time, right? So that's the JM Custom Kydex. The other thing I just kind of want to point out here is the, um, to kind of show you guys the difference in length between the Glock 17 length holster and the Glock 34 length holster. Um, it's not that significant um, when carried appendix. And the reason I actually like the 34 length holster when doing a JM Custom Kydex holster for the Glocks is that the JM, most people like to carry their JM in the high ride position, right? So they... They bring this down, these, these soft loops come down, right? Um, and that brings the gun up more for like a really nice grip on the draw. What that means is you have less length below. That's why I recently switched from 17 length to 34 length, okay? Um, because you want that length, like it's really comfortable to have that and it keeps everything really nice. Um, what you also see here on the JM is he, he does standard loops. I mean, he has clips too and all that, but loops are kind of where it's at. Um, he does standard, which is here, and then wide. Standard, wide, standard, wide. Go with the wide. Um, it'll balance the gun better. makes it easier to kind of straddle over your, your pants loop. Um, definitely go with wide. So that's JM Custom Kydex. Um, next up, and I'm going to skip ahead here. This is the Tenacore Velo. Um, this is a pretty unique design um, in that, you know, a lot of the features made for concealment are built in right into the mold. So you've got a, a wedge. You've got this grip wedge here and then you actually have an angled wedge below here that is designed to kind of like turn the gun into your body now i'm gonna say off the bat i'm one of the weird people who absolutely hates wedges right i don't put foam wedges on my guns don't like them um these don't really work for me 
right? But that is not necessarily the norm. A lot of people love these. Um, and this is a fantastic holster, the Tentacore Velo. And the nice thing about these guys is it's they're they're a production shop so it's basically made to it's already there you place an order it's going to ship tomorrow um you'll have it like that week and they have an incredible return policy no questions asked so if you're like yeah this isn't for me i can't i can't hang with this you just email him and they'll just send you a return label pay for the return shipping you just mail it back um so it's you know risk wise as far as trying because trying holsters isn't cheap you know as i know you can see here um this is like a pretty risk-free one to try because you can just send it back to them um the design necessarily isn't for me but i'm also i have like a weird shape right um just because of lifting weights all my life and stuff like that um i'm not like the normal flat you know shape uh that, that a lot of people have and you know i've noticed people who like these um but if this fits your body if you have the body type for this holster you'll probably love it frankly um because i can see why people love it it's a it's a damn good design super cool Last up, we've got the Fulster Spotlight. So this is a weapon. This is a weapon light holster, and this is actually made for a Surefire. Uh, you know, Glocks with a Surefire X300 on it. Um, you'll notice this is longer. This is a 17, but you know the light kind of sets the length. So this is 34 length. So you can use up to a 34 in it. This is a really um, nice weapon light holster. Uh, but I want to point out, you know, the design also has a wedge on the back built in. So if you're like me and you don't really like wedges, like they just don't work for you, um, you probably want to go with the Dark Star Gear uh, Rigel. Not this one, but they make one, and it doesn't have a wedge, it's flat. Um, I might go for that myself. But if you if you like the tuck, um, then this is like what's up right here, because this is going to pull the gun super close to your body by having this wedge here. Um, and all these have, you know, all these holsters actually... You know, be aware they all have like discount codes. If you just look online, you can usually find 10% off, um, you know, for people who advertise and pimp them out, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on the options in these holsters, like that I went for and why, um, and the models, um, you know, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to pass along whatever information I have. And hopefully you won't have to go through all the trial and error when it comes to holsters that I've done. Um, Cause this is not like of all I've used. There's like many that, ha that have come and gone um, before this. So hope this helps guys.